Hi everybody, it's Mark here from Illawarra Education Foundation. Today, we have a video that Michael has been working on uh, over many, many weeks that was an entry for the 2017 National History Challenge. Now, the theme of the challenge was making the world a better place. And so, Michael was looking at the question of penicillin. How had penicillin made the world a better place? So we worked really hard together and he just just did a brilliant job. So please enjoy this video. Please remember to like and subscribe and share with your friends. Thanks for watching. Hi, I am Michael, a time traveler, who will show you the birth of a most revolutionary history making moment of medicine. Come with me now and we will experience the discovery of first hand of penicillin. Let's start here amongst the dead. See this kid here? He scraped his arm while climbing a tree and a week later he died. His blood was poisoned by bacteria and his body couldn't fight the disease. Let's go back now and see this for ourselves. What a sad scene, for this was a common event in the 1880s. People would die like this every day. One in every three deaths was from bacteria that entered the body, took it over, and poisoned it. So sad. Oh, it looks like we're in the right place. Let's go in. Hello, is that you, Dr. Fleming? Yes. And who are you? I am a young historian in doing the science of London. What do you do here? I'm a bacteriologist. I study germs and this is my lab. I just returned from two weeks holiday and having left my lab in quite a disorganised state, I decided to tidy up. Before I left I'd been studying a bacterium called Staphylococcus, a bacteria that causes sore throats, boils and abscesses, so I had culture plates spread all over my lab. I saw that one of the culture plates had become contaminated with mould. And noticing something very peculiar, I decided to put it under a microscope and have a closer look. I'm so excited. Do you know what I saw there? What did you see, Doctor? When I looked closely, I was astonished to see that for some considerable distance around the mould growth, the staphylococcal colonies were undergoing lysis. Why? What? It means the mould juice killed the nasty germs. So you found a germ killer by accident? To some extent, yes. But for the birth of something new, there has to be a happening. Newton saw the apple fall. James Watt watched the kettle boil. And Rogen fogged some photographic plates. And these people knew enough to turn ordinary happenings into something new. This is just the beginning. Fleming didn't know much about chemistry, nor did he have much friends to help him, and he didn't have a lot of money either. So for nine years, Fleming was teased while the germ killer penicillin sat on a shelf. Then along came the dynamic duo, Ozzy Howard Fleury and German Jew, Ernest Chain, who saw that this mold juice could be made into a medicine to save lives. To prove that penicillin worked, they conducted an experiment. They took 50 mice and injected them with Staphylococcus bacteria. They then injected 25 of the mice with penicillin. The mice that were injected survived, and the 25 that didn't get injected died. Then along came American Ed Abraham, who helped the dynamic duo to concentrate the medicine and have it ready for the Allied soldiers in World War II. Ah! 
The discovery of penicillin had many impacts on the world. Firstly, it started the age of antibiotics, creating a world where bacterial infections are no longer a major problem. Before we started using penicillin, more than 35% of people died from infections. In Australia in 2016, less than 5% of people died from infections. Secondly, it started a large medicine industry with companies researching and creating new medicines to treat anything from a runny nose to a bad heart. Thirdly, it has also allowed us to do operations more safely, things that we couldn't even think of, like replacing a heart or operating of a brain, are now very common, in part thanks to antibiotics reducing the risk of infection. Thank you, Michael, for dropping by. Enjoy history! So today, we can walk into any common chemist and buy a bottle of mold juice to kill the nasty germs in your body. That is one life saved, and there have been tens of millions of lives saved, and billions have directly benefited from Fleming's chance discovery, the mole juice that killed germs. <laughs>